un unvased. Okay. Make sure it's not a fake one. Because you never know. <coughs> you never know. Can you reach behind you and grab the tire shine? Morning YouTube. Wait, no, it's 11.57. That's still morning. Today we are going to go to Costa Mesa to go to Eurocar. I have a friend there who told me to come by and I guess hang out for a bit, check out some cars. We've been there before. Wait, Gibbs, have you been there? Yeah, to I've Eurocar been there. inside? Yeah. It's like a big warehouse of cars and they say when you when I first walked in there one time they said you can't film. So we'll figure it out when we get there. So we're over here at Eurocar OC. This is actually by my old work. I used to work at Iluso right here on the corner. But today we are checking out some cool cars. Damn, that Mercedes. Oh. I love the red. The tires are beefy. What do you think? I like it. You know, I like the red more. I know, the red looks really good. This is trippy. This whole mirror right there. Yeah. Yo! What's up, brother? Okay. How are you? Finally meet you. Nice to meet you, sir, after all this time. I'm an Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sure. Well, it's modern marketing now. People exactly. have to understand it. Exactly. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Yeah, last time that I was in here, there was like a Crayer GT and Enzo and uh -huh. a bunch of stuff. Damn. Do we need yeah. that in the house for Call of Duty? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I mean, we did Lil Pump. We did, uh, we got if you guys more. remember, if you watched the video by um, Lil Pump Gucci Gang, I'll play it right here. Look at the license plate when you see it. Crazy. How are you? Doing good, man. What's going on? Good to see you. You too. How you been? Making videos, dude. Yeah. So if you're a dealership photographer, you obviously know the importance of having a good setup, good lighting. Look at this. This is like the most serious thing. Like if you go on their website, one of the things that I always try to do the most is create a consistent image. They kill it here with that. Every car has the same background, same setup. They have the spinny thing right there. What's that called? Spinny thing? That's like a, a turntable. Yeah, a turntable. Not a spinny thing. But that, that helps a lot with photos because it makes it easier for the photographer. But damn, this is nice. I think one day as a goal, I'd like to be able to wake up and say this is my garage and say I can have any car that I want because you have every color of every car you could imagine. This is like some serious inventory, man. These guys have so many cool cars. Look at this color on this Aston Martin. And that too, damn. Manzeri kit right there. The guy that, uh, the guy that, you guys. LA, LAOC Exotics. Oh, he's the one that yelled at us? He's like, oh, man, <laughs> So it's just one press of a button and then it can spin around. Talk about being easy. So if you're a dealership owner or you work at a dealership, I'm telling you this investment right here will pay for itself in no time. I mean, for you, what do you think? This, this is Peter, by the way. He's a guy that works here at Eurocar. We've known each other for a while. How are you guys? And I wanted to kind of bring up, like, from your perspective, how important is something like this? You know, it's so important. It, it saves a lot of time, you know, and, and dealership presentation, especially for online i mean you have to stand out you have to have whatever advantage possible right you have to stand out from everybody exactly. else yeah because what i notice is when you scroll through like ebay auto trader a lot of people look the same yeah so if you have like three of these cars in two different colors or different whatever it is they're gonna know it's from you because this same area has the same backdrop same setup attention to the details yeah always number one right? well it makes sense i understand that yeah. guess what do you think importance of having a identity that is very consistent because you, you've worked at lambo you worked at ferrari oh yeah i don't i don't want to name names but <laughs> i don't either i won't either there'd be times where we like i worked for maserati and we would have 10 Ghiblis and they would all be the same spec, same options and everything. And so you still want them all to like have their own separate pictures. Yeah. Sometimes when we were taking the pictures, they weren't consistent yeah. because the background was always different or the lighting was always different. So when you have something like this, it's always, always on point. 
So I worked with my friend David and he has run multiple dealerships. He ran a Mitsubishi store for 15 years. When he was working with me and we we're working together, he would always make me reshoot every car. Mm -hmm. So every car at every dealership, I'd shoot in the same spot, same time, same lighting. That way online you have this consistent identity so people know who you are without even seeing the logo. Just like right now, we have a certain spot where we, they take all the inventory pictures and the the floor is tile, so they marked where to park it in no between way. this tile and that tile. What? So every car is in the same location. And that's by that Lambo badge, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. And then that. when they shoot with McLarens or any other off brand, they take the Lambo thing off. Oh, no way. Because it can be taken off super easily. Damn, so that's the nice thing about having a backdrop like this, and like it's very consistent, it's the same every time. It's not, the, the main point is you don't want to distract anything away from the car itself. I've never seen fans as big. I need one of those in my house, that'd be so much fun. I, I can't get over this photo booth, man. I want one of those so bad. Nice little DBS, that was the first car I ever sold. I sold a black one and it's paddle shift. This is like, damn, I love, love, love that color. And if I were to have a Bentley, this is it right here. Those wheels are so dope. Porsche Turbo on wheels. Damn. Oh, there's a GTR. What, the drop head? Oh yeah, with the uh, teak deck. Just a little bit. Oh, the gauges are an option too in white. Oh really? Yeah, that's all. That veneer is super expensive too. And the piping. That color is nice too, with all the carbon on it. How much does this one go for? I think it's like 150, 150 Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. I love it. not even look like HREs. <sighs> they almost look factory. I thought they were factory. Damn. The emblems are really cool in yellow. Bentayga. Damn. That looks good. Big fan of that. All blacked out. I like the color on this one. With all the black accent. That's really nice. It's like the ultimate off-road car. Has to be so much fun to take out. So you've been here for five years. What do you think is one of your favorite cars you've seen that's come through here? Favorite car? Like a personal favorite car that you've seen. This rough Porsche GT2. Oh, I love those cars. And it had like 900 wheel horsepower. <laughs> Roll caged out. And I drove that. I remember driving that car and it was just, that's the car I ever That's scary? Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> Gibbs, what's your favorite car here? You gotta pick one. Pressure. I don't know, man. I'm still, uh, I, think I've, I think this is probably the 10th time I've said this in, in these vlogs. Yeah. I'm a Ferrari fan, but. Yeah. I you know, I'm a Ferrari fanboy, so I like the 599 a lot. I could also, like, I like the California T a lot. Really? I know, I know I'll get hate for really? that, but I like the California dude, let the comments fast. roll in, let the comments it's roll fast. in, dude. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think that's fine, because it's turbo. 458, all day. 458. All okay. around, daily, fast, loud. IPE straight pipe. Yes, there you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Porsche Turbo, the black one over here with the yellow, the yellow uh, emblems on it. I like that one a lot. Do you like this? The white with the red interior? I, I think it's classy, yeah, yeah, but it's just not. I, if I had choices over every car in here, I wouldn't. this wouldn't be on my list. Unless it was for like my wife or my girlfriend or I was something. I was gonna say, like, if I could buy one right now, yeah. I would. If I'm like 35 and I got kids <laughs> and I live on like Babo Island. Yeah, there you go. This is a good yeah, car I'll for do you. I'll this all day. Okay, okay. That makes sense then. So I'm like, still. I'm, I'm right there, that's me. Yeah. That's me all day. Yeah. How about you, which one would you pick? I'm, I like this 991 too right Yeah, here. that's what I'm saying, man. He's on the right page, dude. I like that SV up front too. That yeah, I didn't see that actually. Yeah. You just walk right Oh, by well that's one I'd pick or the, actually. Or the Pirelli. I'd go with the SV. That's like the only black one available too. Have you ever seen a yellow spec MC? Uh-uh. I've never seen one in that color. Things are so hard to drive. Yeah. I'm a fan. I've 
I've done this so many times, man. The pressure is real. You just gotta realize what you're, while you're backing up, it's getting farther and farther away. Mm -hmm. I don't think it looks like it's not. I love that spec. That spec is so sick. I like the It's super dark, even the windshield. This this makes life so much easier when you actually have a price in the VIN. That's gonna help so much. Like it's little things like that. Yeah, dude, especially when you're talking to a customer and you get like 10 new cars at the same time. Like I don't know what year it is, I don't know what price it is, then you can look at that. Your little, car's doing it right. Little things you just notice, you know. I'm sure Symbolic had this one. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but the, uh, can't see it from here. These are seats out of the Veyron. Those are Bugatti seats right there. That's an option for this car. They're not that comfortable. Yeah. These drive really nice. No, the, the horse stitch on headrest is an option. That's cool and green. It's a little unique. Daytona style seats too. That'd be cool if those things were green as well. See what they're, what they're asking on that MC? No. 99 grand. 6,000 miles. Trade my M3 for that. But yes. Oh, really? So yeah. proper. <laughs> Lots of roadster. That's nice. Um, because all this stuff here is so inspiring to me because I do miss like being in the dealership game but man I'm it'd be cool to have a dealership man I really want to own one soon that's the goal is to get some kind of supercar either a Huracan or maybe a used Aventador or something unique in the next like a few months I hope no probably another year or so good to finally meet you bro yeah you too yeah, man. Course, man nice to meet you man for sure that's the right color too Aww. So Spencer and I were just talking and we just got done hanging out here at Eurocar. The guy we were hanging out with, his name is Peter. Peter Tang? Peter Tang. Peter Tang. He was just so cool, so open, so welcoming, just so, so nice. And it's hard to find people like that nowadays. Nothing, nothing bad to say about Eurocar. Nothing bad to say about Peter, but look at look at that thing right there. Yeah, Michelin. <laughs> might, might be gone soon. Oh, I'm looking at your car. Oh, I thought you were saying Michelin. Over. It's gonna be like a minute of. You know, standing here, the planes are right there. So you don't go that way. Literally not letting me take off because John Wayne Airport is like right here. Sorry, no drone footage. I'll show like the clip of like taking off in the parking lot. That's it. Actually, I'm gonna give you guys a clip. Insert drone clip right here. Yeah.